So this is one of the most common questions that we get all the time about the music business. Am I too old to become a songwriter? If you've ever asked that question or wondered that, I'm going to tell you the answer. So the answer is no, you are not too old to become a songwriter. And you're also not too young to make a difference with your songwriting either. Age really does not matter. I believe that you have something to say at every stage in your life. And if music is the way that you can express that to the world, then don't keep that gift to yourself. Give it away, start putting stuff out there. Now, a lot of people ask the question, is it, is it too late to have a career in music? Well, that depends on a lot of factors. If you're wanting to become an artist and get a record deal, well, that may be a little bit different. If you're, you know, 50 years old and, um, you know, labels are looking for a young, attractive 20 year old, like it's going to be a little tougher, but that doesn't mean that you can't do music. Everybody has some kind of an audience. There are people that would resonate with you and with your story. So, the answer to that question of am I too old to become a songwriter is absolutely not. Just start today, it is never too late. And if you're young out there watching this too, and you're wondering, well, do I have to be more prepared or like have lived more life or like, you know, how, how can I make an impact on the world if I'm only like 16 or whatever? It doesn't matter. There's an audience for every single one of you and all you've got to do is get started. So one of my favorite stories that I love to share on this is about my friend Tom Douglas. If you don't know Tom Douglas, you've definitely heard his songs. One of them includes Need You Now by Lady Annabellum, or maybe you've heard Little Rock by Colin Ray. He's written some of the biggest country hits out there, The House That Built Me by Miranda Lambert. That's one of my favorite songs of all time. And this is the guy that wrote him, but he didn't get his first cut until when? Until he was 40 years old. And he was a commercial real estate agent before that. He tried moving to Nashville and doing the whole thing and moved back to Texas. And then finally at 40 years old, it was just a thing that he could not get out of his system. He knew that inherently in his blood, in his, in his bones, in his DNA, he was made to write songs. And he was going to do it regardless of whether it turned into a massive lucrative career or not. And that's the way that you've got to think about writing songs. It has to be something where if you cannot bear to have the song stay inside you, if you have this thing that needs expressed and you just have to write it, then that's how you know you're a songwriter. So if you're waiting for somebody to tell you to go, well, here is your permission right now. I'm telling you, start today. Hey, what's up? Hope you loved the video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to our page for more awesome music industry content. If you are interested in getting a publishing deal, a record deal, or having a career in the music business, I've got a free video class for you right here. Click that link down there to get access to it. And if you want to check out another one of my vlogs, click up here.